the Pittsburgh Riverhounds to break down. And DCFC will have to find a way this afternoon. The whistle sounds and we are underway here at Keyword Stadium. Neil Rule, John Krieger with you. 90 minutes left in the USL Championship regular season. The all-time leader for University of Michigan with 91 matches played during his college career. MLS draft. Mixing bowl moves around. Steinwasher came off the line and it was headed just over top of the bar. I believe that was Patrick Hogan. I think you kind of nailed it, partner, when you said Pittsburgh. I almost get the feeling they're laying in wait. Now that seemed to be the scenario. Now with Detroit City FC with Le Jope. And now you've played it all the way back to Steinwasher. City had possession 35 yards from goal. Had to play it all the way back to Steinwasher to try to restart things. That is yet another impeccable resume by Nate Steinwasher. Nobody talks about him. He just shows up. About a third of the matches are clean sheets, and he keeps it pushing. The thing that's been remar remarkable about Nate as a player is his ability to move up through the ranks. City, you're going to get a, a free kick here. Ability to move up through the ranks. He was an amateur here, went over to play in Sweden, came back and has grown with the league. Nice job by Jope to draw the foul there. Maxi Rodriguez runs up, drives it over top, connects with Michael Bryant. His cross on Mumenza, headed back up towards the six, Maddie Lewis to Michael Bryant. It's right in front and cleared off the line. What a chance for Detroit City FC. Goal mouth gaping right there on the doorstep in the six yard box. So Detroit City FC asking the most intense question of the afternoon so far. Beautiful ball to the side. Great way to beat the Pittsburgh press. Redirected across. Nice thing angle. Oh, if that had gotten through to Detroit City, there was a player waiting to tap at home and a Pittsburgh Riverhound defender with a bicycle kick clearance to keep it out of the goal. Ibarra's cross that nearly got through. Rovira to the top of the D and that shot blasted over top of the crossbar. And then and this thing has opened up in the last minute. So here's the redirection across goal. Natty Lewis gets a piece of it, then pops up in the air. And that's number eight for Pittsburgh, Junior Etu. To clear it off the line, and then Pittsburgh the other way. Puts one to the top of the D, and then puts it over the bar. That one actually, I think, got caught up in the wind a little bit, and rode quickly up. Michael Bryan with that opportunity. Couple goals on the season. For the man from California. Trevor James, kind of a hand on the top of the head. Runs it through the hair. He know he's been through these battles. He knows what's going on here. Connor Rutz unable to come away with it. He goes down. Uh, he cramped up. You see, there was no intent at all by no. Maxi Rodriguez, but the halftime whistle sounds, and we are scoreless through the first 45 minutes of play. By the way, haven't done so yet. Want to say hi to all of our listeners today, not viewers on Sirius XMFC. As we go out into the satellite radio verse. Oh, and this will be a booking to Dominic Gasso. And a deserved one. He went in low. To tack on to the 20 piece he had in the USL championship season. Dos Santos who came on at halftime. It too with it. It too, working against Maxi Rodriguez. It too, the cross, and it comes free. Ibarra steps back. Ibarra curls it. Steinwasher, what a save! And it's headed over top of the goal. Nate Steinwasher just put this team and these fans on his back to keep this game scoreless. 
point blank right at his head. Reese Williams. And the foul will be called Reese Williams on the ground. It's a very good look at being USL Championship Coach of the Year, you would think. Maxi Rodriguez pings it in, and that's over the top, but I believe another corner. Directed away. It's about time for Stephen Carroll to get in the mix with one of these corners, don't you think? I do. Ball sent in. Carroll over the top, and it's headed off the side of the net. Prophetic, Mike. partner. So close. Some of the fans thought it was in, just in the side knitted. But how many times can the Riverhounds go to that well before they pay the price? This portion of the match brought to you by Boab Fair. City have had the majority of chances in this half. Just want to try to break through to get this goal. It changes everything in that Sacramento match. If City can get the three points, Mertz lays it off. And to the cross. That ball sent in. It's loose inside the 18 and now cleared out. And now Dequa with the touch. Boy, well done by Michael Bryant. Great anticipation. Stayed with it, stayed in the play. Didn't over pursue or go to try to mark a man. Got caught up in traffic. Ibarra again lets it go. Matt Lewis stopped that one. Oh, and Ibarra's down, and he gets the whistle, and this will be dangerous. And Maxi Rodriguez is getting a booking, I think, for descent. Robbie Mertz lining things up. Robbie Mertz runs up, gives it a lash, and bangs it off the post. Let's see if Steinwasher gets a piece of this. Nope. Times, folks, I'd rather be lucky than good. Boy, City running with the devil right now. For Detroit City FC, here we go. 73rd minute, nil-nil the score. If you're just joining us, everything on the line. A loss for Detroit City, the season's done. A draw, they force Miami to get a result in Sacramento tonight at 10 o'clock. A win, they force Miami to win in Sacramento tonight at 10 o'clock. Lay Joe. Dequa was looking to party right there. And that is the final whistle, so Detroit City FC stays alive with the nil-nil draw against the Pittsburgh Riverhounds.